Okay, so we're just going to quickly go over what I showed in the previous video and then we'll get to the first lesson. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a computer language and not a programming language. The current version of HTML is HTML5. It allows you to build simple websites. It is often assisted with such technologies as CSS and JavaScript and PHP through the back end. Though there are many other ways in which you can do web development, but that doesn't really matter at this point. So what you want to do is when you're in VS Code, you click on New File, open up a new file, go up to your Explorer section, open a folder, and prior to doing this you're going to want to right click and open up a new folder, create a new folder on your desktop. So open folder, desktop, HTML lesson one. go up here where it's HTML lesson one and click this little piece of paper with the plus sign and every first page is going to be called index.html there now you have your index.html and before I had you install the boilerplate so you just hit the exclamation mark and enter or tab that gives you your basic HTML boilerplate. Now this stuff doesn't matter right now, so we'll just get rid of it. Okay, so that's your basic HTML. You always want to declare your doc type, so document type HTML, your HTML language equals English. You got your head tag which contains metadata or stuff that's not seen in the browser and your title which shows up on a web page it would be this the tab name. And then you're obviously your closing head tag. Most things in HTML are going to go within here in the body tag. So let's start off with the header tags. Header tags basically are just your title. So there's H1 title. H2 smaller title. etc etc it goes from h1 to h6 and the text gets smaller as you go so let's take a look and see what that looks like right click open live server you see how there the title that's in the head tag is document then you got your title smaller title etc. That's your basic rundown on your uh, header tags. So in the next lesson I'll be covering the paragraph tags.